When committing to building out a fight stick, there are some things to consider to help you keep your costs down. It may seem counterintuitive, but a lot of the money can get tied up in the case or enclosure. I was lucky and found this case for 35 bucks, and that's pretty hard to beat. You can always repurpose existing items to serve that function, and I've seen people post all sorts of wild sticks in atypical enclosures. This case was unfinished, so it gave me an opportunity to try some of this black 3.0 paint on a fight stick. It looked like they recommended applying a PVA glue and water mix beforehand so the paint would lay down better. With this paint, we are fully committed to a dark, flat black, and that brings me to my next tip. Plan the full build beforehand. This helps us save money on just a single shipping order, and it saves us time when we get moving. We'll lean into that dark black angle, and that will help anchor the rest of our theme. I'll put on some shadowy edgelord stuff in the top right to help inspire us as we move along. Here, I used a heat gun to dry this paint faster, and when it was all finished, I tagged it with some flat clear coat to help protect the paint. Mini sticks these days have eight face buttons and six auxiliary buttons for training room options, but you can go with just a minimum six face buttons and three aux buttons to save some money. Another tip to help save some coin is to skip the artwork or just print something up yourself. I just mocked up some shadowy art I found on the web and then printed it on standard printer paper. The quality of the art doesn't really pop in the way professional shop prints do, but this didn't really cost us anything. Then, I just lined it all up and cut it out. If you're building a budget stick, then you don't need to go crazy with your part selection. For good entry-level components, it's hard to beat a $20 Sanwa JLF. The same goes for Sanwa buttons. They are pretty standard and pretty affordable. I'm going to deviate just slightly here from my budget mindset because I want to try some different switches on this build to try something new. I went with Crown 202s and popped in some navy switches and then cut some artwork to insert into the button caps. I wanted to bring these shadowy vibes back, so I picked out some dark shadowy warriors across multiple fighting games to feature front and center. I also had this custom Eddie ball top, which works so well with the theme, I couldn't pass up using it. But again, if you're trying to keep it on the cheap, do as I say, not as I do, and just go with a standard $3 ball top. When it comes to the internals, you need to ask yourself what system or console does this thing have to play on? To keep this one pretty cheap, I went with a Brook Zero Pi board, and it will work just fine playing on a PC. There are screw terminals on this PCB so you can make your own wiring harness or just daisy chain some grounds together and stub in the lead wires to the appropriate function. I did that with the 5 pin joystick wiring so you can see what that could look like. There's also a $12 prefabbed wiring harness that I recommend for a lot of these builds since it's so easy to just plug and play, especially if you don't have the tools to strip your own wires. Once you wire your normals and your three aux buttons, you'll need to have a USB cable to connect your PCB to your PC. Most sticks have a cutout for a new trick pass-through, but if you're trying to save money, you can skip it. This means you won't be able to easily disconnect the cord, but this works in a pinch. You just need to tie a knot in it so that it can't be pulled through the opening. My final tip is just to put it all together yourself. You'll learn some cool stuff, save money on shipping it to modders, and with the wealth of online resources like the R Fight Stick subreddit and Discord, it's never been easier to assemble something like this. Get a concept, source an enclosure or build your own, and start stitching one together. This Fight Stick came together for a pretty reasonable price tag, so if it was the money element keeping you turned off from the hobby, now you've got a cheaper place to start. Hey, thanks for watching. Support your locals, and I'll see you next time.